vampire tetras. In the wild, when fish come over the rapids, they'll actually impale them. One of them spliced with the jellyfish DNA to get the color, one spliced with the sea anemone. Yeah, those are really cool. It looks like they're pulsating. Today, we are at Long Island in New York. I'm here all the way from Australia, and we're visiting a local pet store here. So it's not just an aquarium store, it's a pet store. They've got amazing creatures in here, plus a bunch of really, really cool fish that you don't normally see in Australia. So I think you're really going to enjoy taking a look at this store. So let's come through. One of the things that you're going to really like that you see when we first come in is this incredible pond here. And so this has been here for over 20 years, this pond. It's got a big waterfall here and it's got a bunch of koi in there and there's a little duck that's in there normally too, which we saw before when we came in. So oh. Jonathan is now going to give us a little bit of a look around at some of the fish. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are crazy. I love koi. They're very cool. <laughs> are the koi very old? Oh, maybe seven, eight years. I did have a little bit of a look through just before and you know, it was mind blown by some of the things that I saw this in is, here. This uh, is store of pets, this is a zebra shark we've had for uh -huh. like five or six years now. Did you have him uh, since a baby or? No, I mean he was probably like two feet when we got him. So yeah. now he's coming up on like a little over four. Yes. So. Yeah, he's beautiful. And how many feet long do you think he is now? He's probably a little over four. Yeah, wow. He looks bigger than that to me, but oh yeah, maybe. Well, the, the tank is five feet front to back, so he doesn't oh, yeah. reach. Oh, that's a good oh. measure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how long is that tank? It's 14 feet. Far out. So how many gallons would that be? It's uh, it's almost 3,000. Gosh. And then you've got monster fish here as well. Yeah. Gotta... Really cool. <laughs> They're huge. Some pearl stingrays yeah. and uh, some Hydraulicus armatus, vampire tetras. They've got really huge teeth, hey? Yeah, that they, uh, yeah. they're in their, in their lower jaw, and when, in the wild, when fish come over the rapids, they'll actually impale them. Yes. And then eat them. <gasps> That's so brutal. So, yeah, there's a um, big luteus pucko in there somewhere, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, big yellow. Yeah, high over there. No, oh, yeah. yeah. In the back there. Oh, yes. Oh, he's gorgeous. Wow. So yeah. we have our F1 MOBAs oh. and one Black Widow that we grew up. Beautiful. And so F1, does that mean they're from the wild or bred no, first, one generation? One generation, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I love the Black Widow ones. Yeah, there's just one that back there. That... Yes. And so the Black Widow ones, are they bred, like are they from the wild that they come no, like that? Or are they a an anomaly that was bred, okay. like line bred for that treat. Right. Is that a frontosa there too? That really. What's that? What's that there? Is that a frontosa? Yeah, he's yeah. just. Oh, he's just yeah. laying in there. Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I um, I love African cichlids, so that's I the main know. thing. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm I'm gonna set up a Tanganyikan tank. Okay. And I do love frontosa. Like they're nice. I really like the black widow ones. It's just right. that I want like a variety. I yeah. Think. I, like I, you know. Like if I was, I like Tanganyikans too, but I would say like. Frontosas aren't going to be my favorite. Like I like yeah. it like the shell dwellers and the cyclochromis and yes, I kind of like haplotaxodon. So if uh -huh. you're gonna, uh, yeah, are you more freshwater or saltwater yourself? Uh, I'm probably a saltwater guy, but I could yeah. I appreciate a lot of freshwater okay. fish. This is beautiful too. Yeah, so this is you got some archer fish. Uh, archer fish here, yeah. Will they spit for us? Yeah, maybe I can grab some crickets. Yeah. And let me uh, let me move that That'd piece, be cool. that rope up because the water level is a little higher. That normally is, but... So I'm gonna get him on the rope and then hopefully... Uh -huh. Oh, you put him on the rope. It takes some... Like I said, the rope's higher than it normally is now, so everything's... Might take them a minute to... Oh, here we go. That's Never. a cool eel. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a Tanganyikan eel. It just happened to be in there. It's a mass assemblist solipsifer. Did you say it's a Tanganyikan eel? Yeah. I didn't know they had eels. Yeah, there's like two or three species. That's cool. I hope I can get them. Yeah. That's, I didn't know that. Let me, uh, let me grab some more crickets. Usually, there's a Tanganyikan eel shots. in here. Yeah, they're being yeah. a little... No luck. That's all right, at least we tried. 
All right. So there's a lot of fish tanks here. There's rows and rows and rows. So we've got my favorite here. We've got some Lake Malawi cichlids. So we've got some red fin kadangos, I think, mm -hmm. in there. Okay. And some so they, scats. Yeah, those are actually from a tan Tanzania. That oh yeah. Freshwater tiger scats. Uh huh. Some different zebra crayfish down here that are yeah. pretty unique, in my opinion. They're beautiful, and they're freshwater. Yes. Nice. Panther crabs have been oh. a big hit lately. Yeah, they're really cool to look at. Especially with some of the nano tanks and stuff. Yes. And they're very spotty. I guess that's why they're called panther crabs. Yeah. They're beautiful. Cyplochromus are always a favorite of mine. Oh. I mean, this one's showing off and color up. The one with the yellow tail? Yep. Yeah, I was looking at that before and saying I love that one. That's one of the ones I'd like to get when I set up my Tanganyika tank. Parasiplochromus, there's a oh, yeah. uh, well, there's actually four of them in there, but not they're showing cool. tremendous color yet. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's called Ocelotus, or, or get some nice size to them and showing some of the blue. They're gorgeous. They're one thing we luckily don't struggle to get in Australia. Is yes, is shell dwellers. Yes, and just African cichlids in general. Okay. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> Oh, and Leilupi? Leilupi, yep. Yeah, and they're beautiful. Calianthus. Yeah, they're gorgeous too. Calianthus? I like right. colourful fish. Um, very popular lately have been some of the, uh, the ornamental oh, shrimps. Oh yeah, like little shrimps. Oh, they're pretty. Galaxy raspberries is oh, in yes. there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so lots of nano stuff is popular at the yeah. moment. I like these guys too, with the pointy head. The uh, calvus? Yeah, yeah. Yes. They're beautiful too. Another, another neat little shell dweller, the Cygnus. Oh, yeah. Cygnatus. Very nice. And so, do you have your own tanks at home? I do not. You I don't. Have a lot too. <laughs> that happens, maintain. doesn't it? A lot of yeah. pretty much every person I know that owns a fish store doesn't anymore have their Ma own tanks. Michelle at and home. I just set up a little 20 gallon reef tank, but oh, yeah. I don't. Just something but yeah kind of like you want to get away from it when yeah. you're with it all day at work yeah but <laughs> still enjoy it so yeah, have the, the oh, pea yeah. puffers are a cute oh, little yeah. yep they're really expensive in australia ah. yeah they're like they were 500 dollars. really yeah yeah each but recently they've started to get bred a little bit more so they're more like 250 200. Yeah, they're Five ninety nine in the US. Yeah. <laughs> Five dollars ninety nine cents. Not yeah. Yeah, but that's what happens when supply is low. Yeah. When I first came through, I thought this was a real stinger. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just looked at it. I was like, oh, that's cool. I was like, oh no, that's fake. Oh yeah, you got lots of the guppies and mollies and stuff yeah. in here. A really wide selection of fish. Thank you. This is our live era section. And what suburb is this? Is this called Long Island or is yes, this called something different? Long okay. Island. It's yeah. Oh, and you got rainbow fish. Yeah, rainbow fish are definitely a favorite of mine. Not as yeah. popular amongst some of our and, customers, but. And you've got them with all the live berries. Yeah, we give them a little yeah. bit of a higher pH. And, yeah. Um, I mean, live berries aren't a favorite of mine, but these guys here with the uh, uh, longer fins, I think are definitely a unique, newer thing Ooh. for us. Yeah, the albino, synodonus, petrocoli, or whatever. It was like, Five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're like a long thin molly. It's a long thin sword tail. Oh. Yeah. They're um, a huge pest. The sword tails and the waterways where I live. Oh. Yeah, really? yeah. They breathe like crazy. They're beautiful, but yeah, we've got too many of them. There's another uh, rainbow. Uh, oh, nice. Celebes rainbows. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, There's a male yeah, yeah. coloring up. Oh, gorgeous. And then there's some cool gobies in there too, which are oh. Okay. They're very cute. So, I mean, yeah. we have the lower carrots sitting up there, but I think the, the gobies are, are definitely new to me. Yeah. Keeping the different species of gobies. They're beautiful. Do they get a lot bigger than that, or? Um, this 
species, no, there's two, actually two different ones oh. in there, but we have gotten some that get like three or four inches. Yeah, that's so tiny. And yeah. these are very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, so these are the, uh, the glowfish. Are these popular? Yes. Very really? Popular. Yeah. Okay, among adults or kids or everyone? Everyone. Everyone, nice, yeah. okay. And people even that don't just keep them or mix them in there, just their community tanks. Yeah. And, and so it's a bit of a misconception, I think, with these fish as well, that, that it's cruel, like that they get injected with color. Oh, so these are not actually injected, these yeah. aren't dyed, these are genetically altered. Yeah. Which I guess some people could say is cruel in a way in itself, but they're actually, or DNA is actually spliced, they're not. Yeah. It's not an injection like the painted fish. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, I don't know the exact genetics, but I, one of them spliced with the jellyfish DNA to get the color, one spliced with the sea anemone. And um, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and so it's not like it hurts the fish, it's just that they're being Yeah, modified. that's just the way yeah. they were born. They're born like yeah. that. Yeah. Huh. That's really cool. This is more of our community side over here with mm -hmm. different community fish. Mm. Oh, he's interesting. Yeah, that's a peppermint pikehead. It's so we were looking at your favorite fish or one of your favorites? Yeah, the Congo tetra was yeah. what we were looking at. I love those guys too, they're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And then here we have a, a group of baby fire reels yes. that are just entertaining to to look at. I the love fire eels. Uh, want to come up and eat. They're really friendly. Yes, look at them. Yeah, like uh, we've got uh, spiny eels and they look very, okay. very similar, yes. but their temperament and their personality is nothing like this. They just ah. hide. Yeah, but I, I know that. So we do have spiny eels in tire tracks from time to time. Yeah. We might have some now if I could locate some. But. Yes, well, when I was like 15, I saw a video on YouTube of a uh, fire eel and okay. it was like a big one and it was really friendly. Mm -hmm. The guy was like patting it and stuff. Yeah, so um, I could probably, we have some bigger ones on the other side I could show you. you know? Yeah, but then I could never find one in Australia. I can see some yeah. now, but they're like $2,000 and yeah. stuff, yeah. Because everything there has to go through like a quarantine, right? Is that why like, so this is a, yeah. a big sunshine fleet going? And um, uh, they changed the laws, so sometimes the fish that used to be able to be imported can't be anymore. Oh, ah, okay. And so then we don't have like any people breeding them and stuff, so they go for a lot. Beautiful. And so are you big into fish or are you into like animals in general? Yeah, animals in general, but fish yeah. are really my area and Michelle's more of the small animal person. Uh -huh. Bird. Yeah, that's why you were like, Michelle, you can show Katie the small animals. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you're like, I'm not exactly. touching Yeah, and then she's like, yeah, you. <laughs> stingrays. Some, uh, freshwater stingrays down here. Yeah. They're nice. All captive bred. Oh, and black diamond one. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There's a big, <laughs> big royal pleco. Oh, oh, gosh, he is huge. I thought that was a rock, and you yeah. were moving it to show me the pleco. This is our rare oh. rock in this. Yeah. Area. <laughs> <laughs> but what type of pleco did you that's say a, that that's is? That's a royal pleco. A royal pleco. I've never seen that before. I love these really cute little fish too. Are they parrot, parrot fish? fish? Yep. Their There's little mouth. Two different types of parrot, a red parrot. Oh. We call that a uh, convict parrot. Right. Oh. Or a blue parrot. <laughs> I, yeah. thought, I, did, I thought they were convict cichlids. I didn't no, even they're realize. they like a... Are they like bred with a convict cichlid yes. or something? Yep. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Convict cichlids would breed with anything. Yeah. Oh, and a big guy. Big parrot fish. Big uh, Polypterus and Sabrina Ooh. Pike. You guys have everything. Huh. Here we have another Ludius Pleco and some bigger oh. fire reels. And these look like parrotfish, but Those are actually pointy. red devils. Uh -huh. So they go into a parrot, but they're not a parrot. <laughs> yes. And some here is some bigger oh. uh, convict parrots. And another big Pleco too. Yeah. Just chilling there. And that's the fire eel, like a, yep. some bigger ones. Yeah, let me just uh, take a little shade from this piece of cork here. They're I'll, beautiful. Uh, see if I get some of the feed them quick yeah, if you want. Yeah, for sure. What does 
Yeah, is that a one? Yeah, so this is an earthworm, Canadian uh -huh. nightcrawler. Oh, you grabbed one. It's like whenever you want a fish to eat, it just refuses. Yeah, yeah that seems to be the, the way of today. <laughs> it's just like, no. They're not eating? Nope. No, they're, I mean, a nice big juicy worm. Yeah. yeah, they're crazy. Maybe my camera scares them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're fighting over. Oh, <laughs> now, now they're eating. <laughs> yeah. so here we have some, oh. some arapima. Wow, they're pretty. World's largest fresh, freshwater fish. Yeah. Uh, which one are they? Are they the black ones or the... Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on up. Okay, here you go. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's always when you get the camera out. That wait, wait, out. how's that noise go? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. The black ones. The black ones, yeah. The they're black cool. ones, yep. So they get way bigger than that. Yeah. yeah. Like, what do they get, like 12 feet? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they get enormous. Well, yeah. so you need a tank like Andrew's to actually yes. Yes. keep them. <laughs> Or I believe cool. uh, Rod and Kevin are going to be building some, some big aquariums for some big arapima. Oh yeah. 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 I used to have some that were like yeah. six, seven feet. No way. Mm -hmm. So this to me is a real cool fish because it's yeah. very Tanganyikan light. It, oh yeah. It's called a Retroculus lepidifer. Yeah. It's kind of like a geophagus without a swim bladder almost. I'm not uh -huh. quite sure exactly what the um, evolution of it is, but Oh. Kind of reminds me like a xenotilapia almost. And they're kind of like, they sit like a goby. Fish, yeah, it's pretty cool. They're very cool. And if there's substrate in there, they'll, they'll dig through it looking for... Huh. That's awesome. Oh, you got some albino biches in there too. Yep. What would you say is the most popular fish? Mm, definitely some of the community stuff. Yeah. Some arowana. Yeah. Yeah. So there we have a Jardini arowana. Oh. Australian. <laughs> He's cool. Bell horns. I like those Jardinis when they get bigger, they get that coloration. Up. Yeah. But they're just so mean. Like, what do you really. Yeah, you need to keep them with other big fish. Yeah. I like this pleco. Yeah, so I'm called a blue-eyed pleco. He's beautiful. Oh, you guys call them plecos. Pleco. Yeah. Tomato, <laughs> tomato. Yeah. <laughs> this is another Australian native arowana called oh, yeah. a lachardi. Uh huh. And down there's a, a lynx cat, which is fairly uncommon fish, also. Nice. These we actually got from our friends. Kevin and Rodrigo, these are called Tigrinus cats, which I'm yeah. sure you'll, you've seen there, but... Oh, they're beautiful with their yeah. long fins. I haven't seen those before. We got the Tigrinus catfish. Yeah. A lot of people call this the holy grail of catfish. I love how you guys just have like a huge pleco in every tank. <laughs> well, sometimes they fight, so... <laughs> you gotta separate you gotta them. Gotta separate them and... Plecos are funny. Take a little look at some saltwater stuff. Yeah, sounds good. I noticed all the Texas holy rock that you've got too. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. So much of it. I mean, I don't know if you want to show the coral or the lights are starting to dim down if you want to. Yeah. Do it. I, um, I don't keep salt water, so I don't no. know an awful lot about no. it. These are reef tanks with some different corals for sale on them. And then. Beautiful. We got some more sharks down here too. Yeah, we got some more sharks oh. down here. There's some, um, if I could see if I could fish one out. There's Australian epaulet sharks in here. Oh, yeah. The walking sharks, which is part of a breeding project. Oh. <laughs> so that's wow. These guys here. Oh gosh. They can walk. Yeah, so uh, I've never seen it because I've never been there, but on the Barrier Reef, supposedly at low tides, they'll walk across oh, the, yes. the coral heads to get back into water. Yes, I've seen videos of them. Yeah. I haven't seen them in real life, but I know the ones. There's a giant clam back there. Oh, that's cool. They um, do really cool things when they close hay. Like, if you yeah, get really they big could expel ones, water yeah. up fairly high. <laughs> we have some uh, smaller ones down here. Oh, little ones. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So, 
Being that the, uh, the lights are dimming in here, these are getting into like more of like a feeding mode and yeah. you can see like the feeding tentacles coming out. Uh-huh. Oh so, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, on some of them. I think the lights are starting to shut down. And so how did you guys meet Andrew? Did he used to come in uh, here? Yeah. yeah. I've, like I said, I've been working for, for over 20 years now yeah. at different <laughs> stages of his houses. And then these are all fragments, which are like a propagation to, you know, have smaller pieces and we can take them off a colony and grow, grow them into larger mm -hmm. pieces. And that's what this section is. And that's very cool. Different species of corals in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, you've got a huge range. Let me get some, some weird things too. So there's yeah. a tomato clown back there with a really odd pattern to it. Instead of just having the, the white bar by the head, it has that black, mm -hmm. um, like, I don't even know what you call it, line going horizontal, mm -hmm. which is uncommon for the species. So it's like yes. a mismarked one. That's beautiful. The gem tangs are, are very Ooh. popular. The uh -huh. black and white spotted ones. Oh, yes. They, they originate from only like two locations in the world. Wow. Yeah, he's beautiful. He's cute too, this little guy. Yeah, so that's a type of file fish. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool and unique fish here. It's called a pine cone fish. They do look like pine cones. Yeah. Or like armadillos almost. Yeah, so yeah. they have like an armor plating to them, I guess to say. And uh, we keep them shaded because they don't like the bright light. And... <laughs> They've got really funny faces. Yeah. Very cool. A bunch of captive bred clownfish here. Mm -hmm. all... It's nice to see some aquaculture making its way to salt water. Yes. These are incredible, these blue ones. So that They're is so one bright. of the most common oh. uh, salt water. It's a uh, albino synodonis multipancatus. Yeah. Which is a little high strung, oh. but maybe, that is really maybe you cool. can get a shot of him. But he's definitely a, a cool wow. fish. He's almost like platinum like yes I don't know how he's uh that's very very cool yeah never seen that before yeah it's definitely a unique fish that's cool is that the first time you've ever had one yeah, of those it's the first time I've ever yeah had one of those. he's so skitsy yeah <laughs> if I most synodonis are but yes so that fish in the top left he's gonna be a little shy nope that pink spotted one. Oh, yeah. That's called a Dr. Seuss fish. It's a type of silk fish. Yeah. It's uh, actually extremely rare. Yeah. Uh, it's from deep water in oh. Indo Pacific region. Yeah. Um, their, esoph their esophagus is pretty much lined with a, uh, I don't want to say like a venom, but like it's yeah. toxic when they ingest things, so it actually kills them. Right. But that's like a, or a retail, that's like a $5,000 fish. Cool. We're keeping it as a pet. We've had yeah. it for, I don't know, four years now. Wow. Oh, gosh. That's there. awesome. Yeah. You'd never think that that fish is that rare. Expensive. Yeah. And that's an interesting evolutionary thing. I have another one, a different species on the other side. There's not many in the family, but it's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and the fish I thought was really beautiful. That's like the most common saltwater fish. Yeah. <laughs> They do look nice. Yeah, yeah they they're very nice. pretty. It sucks but, that happens. Just so like, funny. that's Andrew's thing, like at his tank and sometimes here too, like, he'll be like, pick out the most expensive fish in there. He yeah. tells people all the time. It happens to be this, everybody picks out the same fish. It's a Sweet Lips and it's by far the cheapest fish that Yeah, you know. there you so go. Puffers are always a, uh, a yeah. fan favorite. They're beautiful. I love puffers. They're so cute. <laughs> Parrotfish is always uh, oh. Those are pretty. Yes. Yeah. They get big too, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, some gorgeous saltwater fish. Tank of uh, lionfish, Ooh. which are uh, venomous. Uh huh. Yeah, they're very pretty. Are they interesting, those yellow ones? Yeah, so those are pilot fish, it's a type of jack. Uh huh. I love these trigger fish, I think they're called too. Like yep. the ones with the bodies like that. Yes. They've got a very interesting shape. That's what I like. I like colorful fish and interestingly shaped fish. So I think these have an interesting pattern. Ooh. These are called pajama cardinal fish. They're gorgeous. They have like spots and stripes, and <laughs> yellow and red, everything kind of going it's on. It's a good name for them. Yeah. Not a rare fish, but I think very cool. It's called yeah. a, uh, a dragon wrasse. Uh-huh. 
I just I particularly like them. It's gorgeous. This is uh, another fish that I'm really fond of. It's called a broomtail wrasse from the Red Sea. Yeah. From the Red Sea. Here we have a, another species of soapfish called an arrowhead soapfish. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the uh, this oh, yeah. esophageal lining being toxic. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful too. And then in here, I don't know if you see them, we have a little angler fish. Oh, an angler fish. Oh, he's cute. Nice color too. Yeah, it's called a wart skin angler. This is a, um, a very rare fish called a five stripe hogfish. Yeah. It was collected by Tim Bennett of Carnes Marine Ooh. in Australia in oh, very in deep water. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Tim Bennett happens to be a famous diver that works for the company uh -huh. that um, collects their deep water fish with rebreathers. Is that a fish sitting on there? Yeah, so that's a stonefish. Oh. It's venomous. He does look like a stone. Yep. Oh, another one here yeah, too. Yeah, there's another one there. Nice. What's that thing next to them? So these are two Stargate, Caribbean stargazers. Oh. And then that's a Japanese uh, scorpion fish. Right. Cleaner shrimp, which are always an interesting guy. And they tend to yeah, be... Yeah, they jump on you, don't they? Yes. <laughs> I love them. I think they're cooler than freshwater shrimp. Yes. <laughs> cool. Electric flame yes. scallops are always an interesting They thing. are very cool. I'd never seen them before until yeah. I came here. Yeah, those are really cool. It looks like they're pulsating. Yeah. Yeah, it's like lightning. Why do they have that? Uh, I'm actually not really sure. I'll have to Google it. Yeah. Read about them. Are yeah. they easy to keep? They're not as easy to keep no. as they should be. And so you, we give them like phytoplankton because they're a filter feeder. So. Very unique. Yeah. yeah. Unique, but you know, not, not easy to keep. Yeah. So goldfish and paddlefish. And so this is our ornamental goldfish, mm -hmm. cooler water fish. Uh, so, I mean. Goldfish are still popular today. Yes. Yeah, they're very popular. Yeah. And then you've got your paddlefish in here too. Yeah, our paddlefish are down here. I love the paddlefish. Yeah, so we got. <laughs> they're very cute. They're funny fish, how they just swim around like that all day. Yeah. And like open their mouth up. Yeah, it's a shame they get so big. Yes. Yeah, I reckon those are the red-tailed catfish. I would totally have them if I had a tick big <laughs> enough. You like the red tails, right? Yeah. Okay. Very Did you cool. see the uh, albino red tail in the fish room? I don't think I so. Did uh, we see it? There's we? two of them, I think. I'll show you that one quick. I'm personally not a red-tailed cat person. Yeah. <laughs> but no, oh, you're not. No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I. So I think the regular red tail cats are very inexpensive and affordable to everybody and uh, people that can't properly yeah. care for them. I think he's yeah. Oh, they kind of have yeah. a stigma. Of yeah. Like a so like with that being said, I mean, I know we do sell our Pimas, but it's like it's also a $200 fish and not a $20 yeah. fish. Oh, I didn't know that was so cheap. Yeah. And they get big really fast. Did oh, we here he is. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. So get like a foot a oh, year. Oh, cool. That's nice. cool. That's very cool. Oh, oh he's quick to hide. They eat everything and they grow like a foot a year. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you know where they're from in the wild? Uh, the Amazon, I think. Amazon, yeah. yeah. What do they eat? Like everything, everything just everything. everything. Yeah. 
they can't be picky when they grow so quickly. No. <laughs> well, is that everything? I believe that's everything. Awesome. Thank you so much for showing us around. That's been great. No problem. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to really enjoy seeing this and seeing some of the interesting fish, I think, because you've got so many fish, but then also it's really cool seeing all of the other types of animals that you've got that Thank are a little you. bit rarer that you don't often see. Especially in Australia. <laughs> All the people in America are going to be like, why is she showing hamsters? <laughs> like, <I don't> care. <laughs> well, they have a lot of really cool stuff here. Yeah. Even for, even for yeah. US pet store standards. Yeah. yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been great. Joel is going to show us some of the creatures they've got. So they've got some little rodents, um, like little hamsters and things, some fairy dogs. Really cool selection, even hedgehogs and everything. So we'll come and we'll take a look at this. This is a teddy bear hamster. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> He's grumpy. <laughs> Super. Oh my goodness, look at him. What are these things too? I've never seen that. So those are dagos. They're like a, a miniature dagos. chinchilla. What? Yeah, they're a small. Um, that's about as big as they get. Is this like a common pet here? Not too common, but they're okay. really friendly and they live a lot longer. Hamsters uh -huh. only live like two to three years. Dagos yeah. live maybe five to seven. Oh. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what are hamsters like in comparison to guinea pigs? Because we've got guinea pigs in Australia. Uh, they're So they're nocturnal, but they eat more of like a, a seed diet. Yeah. Oh. Uh, they're definitely more active. Yes. So we have two chinchillas here. Oh, no way. I don't know how thrilled they will be. That's they're cute. really soft. Oh. Do you I'll pat him. Yeah. What are they like in terms of keeping them like temperament and... So similar to a hamster where the more you handle them, the friendlier they are. Yes. Uh, definitely fully nocturnal. Uh, their diet's a little more in depth. They eat a lot mm -hmm. of fresh fruit. Um, obviously they don't climb, so everything would be berries, they eat mushrooms, radishes, sweet potato. Oh, and you've got rabbits too. Yes. Are those allowed in Australia? Uh, in some states, not where I'm from, unfortunately. The rabbits aren't? Uh, no, not in Queensland. So if you go to New South Wales, uh, they're allowed, but you still don't get a lot of variety. Like it'd be really hard to find a lot of rabbit. Yeah, because okay. not many people breed them. <laughs> yeah, if I lived in America, I'd have way more pets. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Like, it would probably it's be tough. bad. <laughs> we work with um, a local rescue for oh. our kittens. Yeah, that's So nice. these guys are too young, a little too young. We hang on to them for another couple weeks before they go home. Did you see the two cans up front? Yes, yes, I was looking at them. They're very cool. So there's two curl crested's. They happen to be females. Mm -hmm. um, they're siblings. And then this is a green. Mm -hmm. The they're sexually sexually dimorphic. So the females have like uh -huh. that brownish head, uh -huh. and then males have a black head. Is she called Little Bit because she bites? No, just because she's little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like really really sweet. We're working with these two. They they were all hand raised, um, but being that they were raised together, they yeah. are way more attached to each other. But do you guys know what parallettes are? Yes. Yeah, I've got a little parallette, a little Aww. green one. They're yeah. so sweet. Male or female? Uh, female. Female. Yeah. yeah. How old Very is she? Very cute. She is only just eight months old. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's how old she. Is, yeah, and she's just started to lay eggs. So oh, okay. she, yeah, she just sexually matured, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Just before I left, her first egg was the day before I left for America. Oh wow. Oh, and these are cute too. Oh yes, yeah. fairy dogs. Fairy dogs. So they're only available once a year. Oh. Yeah, these are bottle-fed babies. They're okay. very high activity. Yeah. <laughs> um, they eat a ton of hay. Uh huh. Um, but they want to be treated like a dog. So when oh. you're home, they want to be like out and with oh. you. And they're very, very, oh very gosh. social. I think I would probably get one of these <laughs> if I could. Cause like that's, I had guinea pigs, but I didn't like how guinea pigs, like they don't want to be with you. And if you let them out, they'll probably just hide. Yeah, yeah. these guys, as long as you, when you put, you know, the initial time into them, when you come home, they want to be like out of the cage, walking around with you. Like we have people that bring them in on harnesses and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. That's sweet. So that's Kevin uh -huh. and Twitch. They nice. talk a lot. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? No, no one's gonna say anything. <laughs> Did you see the wallaby yet? Yes, we had a little look, but it wasn't out. All right. An agile, okay. I don't know if we've got them in Queensland. I know we've got red wallabies, I think. Okay. Yeah. So Bennett's are common, bred commonly around in the US. They're a little bit bigger than she right. is. So we didn't really think it was ideal to have something that was too big yeah. here. You don't want to like kick people or anything. <laughs> yeah. And also like the space. I mean, she yeah. is running around here. So yeah. she's still on the bottle, but we had gotten her when she was. Aww really young and um oh so she's just a baby so, yes well yeah. she's six now but oh six wanna... years old yeah she's six years old <laughs> she's and still she's on the bottle. still on the bottle yes 
No more. She's six, you said? She's yeah. six, yeah. That's how long she's been here for? Yeah. Do you oh, that's really in? funny. So when she was a baby, we would wear her in a pet she doesn't but we would wear her yeah. in a smaller version of this. So she still thinks she's a baby, oh, basically. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Two more? Long day, especially if you're, you're diving in the tank. Oh, right? I know, yeah. Oh, yeah, that Every was you Tuesday. diving in yeah. the tank. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm just going to give them the keys back. I'll be right back. Yeah. Take a look at the oh, reptiles. Thank you for showing us Yeah, no problem. Are there like chameleons? And no, frogs? no. Okay. So these are veiled chameleons. We've got frogs, like green tree frogs. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I would love a chameleon too. Let me grab the keys. I'll open the red eyes. They're really cool. Are axolotls a thing now? We've got axolotls, yes. Okay. But they're normally bigger in stores when we see them. These are very tiny. Usually axolotls are okay room temperature. What? Yeah, they'll get cool. In Australia, yeah. they just die, yeah, if you don't have a chiller. So we have. Oh, yes. The red eyes. Are they a type of tree frog? Like, uh, or, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so where I are they from? I don't know. Okay. I don't know where they're Somewhere. from. Somewhere. Probably Amazon. Yeah, wow. They're cool. Again, everything is super nocturnal. <laughs> uh, why is he called a Pac Man? Maybe Big Mouth or something? I'm thinking. Yeah. Because yeah. they're small and fat. I was going to say, yeah, oh. it's basically what they do. <laughs> <laughs> they just sit there like that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> And there's That's all different cute. colors, color varieties. I don't blame there's greens them. and yellow. I don't Again, I feel like this is something I would have <laughs> if I lived here. They get big and they eat everything. They eat everything. Oh, yeah. That's why they're called Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah. All different snakes and nice. Hi. It's a panther, a male panther chameleon. Uh-huh. It's beautiful. Wow. Are these things normal for you guys? Like yeah. yeah, so you're yeah. probably like, why is she so excited if I know this chameleon? <laughs> Janice, right this is a really good looking one. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> There's gargoyles at those. Yeah. And, you know, if I can... There are two in here. I have... Oh, yeah, that's cool. He's cute. That's a cool setup that you've got him in too. Yeah, it's nice to do like a plant, more planted. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look around Cool Critters. It's a really awesome store. So if you're around New York or Long Island, definitely come and check it out. As you can see, they've got an incredible range of pets and fish and everything in here. And so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you've been to a place like this or if this is normal in the US as well, I'd love to know. As always as well, if you're enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. It's really, really helpful when you do that. And you can also press a little bell icon so you get notified each time I upload a new video so you don't miss any, which is a really good idea because I'm gonna have a lot of content from my trip over here in the States as well and up to Canada too. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye. That's good. How's that? I think that was good. That you reckon really that's good? good? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome.